Hello everyone. Today we will take a look at the DIY proof of concept project wearable automatic assistance glove which is published on electronicsforyou.com. The link to the project is in the description of this video. Imagine a glove that can talk for you when you can't. Just touch your fingers together or press a little button and it asks for what you need. For example, if you need your medicine, just press a button on your finger or touch your thumb to another finger and your medicine comes to you. This glove can help people in hospitals, offices, and restaurants communicate what they need quickly and easily. Just a simple touch of a finger makes everything faster and better. It sends messages with just a touch or a button press. It can help those who can't speak to ask for what they need. Let's see how it works. Here you can see this prototype of the glove. When you press these buttons, specific tasks will get printed on the LCD and the buzzer will blow. Like here you can see need help and need dinner is displayed on the LCD screen on pressing two different buttons. This project is perfect for electronics engineers who can use their expertise in building and programming electronic devices to make the glove work. Students who enjoy creating tech projects could also help, bringing new ideas and improvements. Also, researchers can improve the glove to make sure it works well and safely. Amazing, right? But how to make this? You can make this with very few components. Let's take a look. 433 MHz TXRX modules are used for wireless communication between the glove and the display system. They enable the device to send signals over a short range without wires, which is crucial for the flexibility and mobility of the user. The Arduino UNO controls what happens when it receives a signal, such as sounding a buzzer or displaying a message on a screen. The encoder IC on the glove converts button presses into a wireless signal. The decoder IC at the receiver end turns the incoming signal from the transmitter into a format that Arduino UNO can understand and respond to. The buzzer makes a sound to let people know when the glove is used and help is needed. Push to on switches on the glove let the user send different messages or requests. A 16 by 2 LCD screen displays what the user is asking for, so others know exactly what to do. Resistors to manage the electricity flow in the circuits, ensuring the screen and lights work right and don't get damaged. Let's assemble the circuit. First of all, we will assemble the transmitter circuit and then the receiver circuit following the circuit diagram. For the transmitter circuit, arrange all the components, including the encoder IC, push buttons, transmitter module, voltage regulator IC and resistors on the breadboard. Now use jumper wires to connect these components following the circuit diagram. Similarly for the receiver circuit, arrange all the components including the Arduino board, receiver module, decoder IC, LCD, buzzer, LED and resistors on the breadboard. Now use jumper wires to connect these components following the circuit diagram. Now our circuits are assembled. Next we will write a code on the Arduino ID for Arduino board. This is our code. First define the pins to which the peripherals are connected. In the setup function, Set the baud rate for the serial monitor and define the input and output modes of each pin which are connected to external components. Also initialize the buzzer with a low signal and clear the LCD so that when you power on your circuit the buzzer does not blow unnecessarily and the LCD screen is clear. In the loop function read the incoming signal from the transmitter and print the commands on the LCD screen accordingly. Also blow the buzzer as a siren to indicate some task is coming from the transmitter end. Upload the code on the Arduino board. Now power up the transmitter and receiver circuits. You can see the buzzer blows and an LED lights up and need breakfast is displayed on the LCD at the receiver circuit on pressing a button at the transmitter end. Voila, it works. So, what did you learn? How to send and receive signals without wires. How to integrate hardware and software in a project. Interested in developing your own wearable automatic assistance glove? Then click on the link provided in the description of this video. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such DIY proof of concept videos. Thank you.